Hello and welcome back to Luxembourg's Lux Invicta. I'm Count Christo and this is going to be the episode where we declare war on Germany. They've no troops around this area, barely any at all. In fact, they have so few, I want some cavalry divisions around here. Just to allow really rapid moves. Like, I'm going to use these cavalry to try and push down to the Pyrenees. We're going to the Pyrenees soon. Should be fun. But meanwhile, we're going to go to the Pyrenees with these cavalry. Right, have you... No. The other one. No. This one. Thank you. So we're going to have a bunch of cavalry push down to the Pyrenees. Just see if we can take that mountain range. Because we want to hold that mountain range against the... Uh, National Spanish. In fact, we might just push straight into National Spain as well. Let's see. We'll see. There's improved infantry equipment. Good time for that to come in. Next level of mechanized would be helpful. Any of these I really want? Yeah, entrenchment. Entrenchment is king. Let's uh, keep that one researching. Uh, I want to rush deploy these guys. They're going to be green to start with, but they'll be very fast. Very maneuverable. Very useful. Okay, so yeah, these guys can travel at six. Why? Oh, the heavy tanks are slow. Okay, fair enough. Still, six is better than four, which I believe is these guys' full speed, right? 3.2, yeah. So the infrastructure here is apparently low. It's 10 out of 10. What are you on about? Maybe it's Wallonie that they were uh, complaining about. Okay, are we ready? Not quite. We want to get, just hopefully get these guys to arrive... They're getting there. Quite a lot of these divisions, so we want them to arrive first, preferably. Really don't want to miss this window. Okay. These guys, should I rush deploy? Yes. Let's rush deploy them as well. Are we doing supply? We're slightly oversupply, but we're about to dramatically increase our supply the moment we, uh, we take some more land. Is it just me, or is the AI not spreading out right? Let's... If I send all these troops into the center, will they spread out more sensibly for me? No? No. The patch... The patch has officially, officially broken the AI. They don't seem to want to go remotely sensible locations. Okay. That's inconvenient. <laughs> Let's treat themselves. That might mean I have to halt the series until they fix that. That is game-breaking. If the AI won't spread out along a line, that's it's kind of unworkable, isn't it? Let's see if they at least stay where they're put. Well, we can we could manually control it for ourselves. But that would take quite some doing. I'll finish this episode and then I'll go and look and see if other people have also been having this issue. Because that's unworkable. I can't play if the AI won't spread out along lines properly. I mean, they wouldn't do it perfectly before, but they now they're just all clustering into one corner. That's, that's totally unacceptable. So we'll have to, we'll probably have to uh, have to call a halt on this series until that issue gets fixed. Let's see. I'll start, I'll start uh, up a new game and see if the issue persists. It might be just because this game carried over from the previous patch. If that's the issue, I'll just roll back to the previous patch. In fact, I'll try that anyway. That is very inconvenient. That must be what... Yeah, because we saw that odd thing going on down here, didn't we? Like these guys wouldn't spread out properly. Okay, well, now we've got them reasonably well spread out. I want, ideally, all the tanks, yeah, here, ready to push east. Yeah, it's looking better. But see, there's these couple of provinces with just three in them that I, I might miss. Feeling like maybe we shouldn't shouldn't declare this war now if they if the AI can't behave. Maybe it's because they think we're friendly to Germany. Maybe that's it. Because they went to the coast, and over here they went to the border with Portugal. So they're seeing Portugal as a bigger threat than Germany. Maybe that's what it is. I really hope that's what it is. Here come the military police. And in fact, yes, I have changed my mind about the military police. I'm going to deploy them to here and use them to bulldoze France. And once they arrive, hopefully the Italian divisions have arrived. Sorry, the... Uh, Af uh, blimey, what is wrong with me? The This place here. Frickin' India. Indian divisions. Once they've arrived, we will... Uh, 
We shall declare the war on Sweden and start justifying on Germany. Making sure to leave the faction first. It's going to be the exciting war. That is for darn certain. Let's make sure a couple of these guys fill up any uh, currently unguarded. That one was already guarded, I think. Ports that we have. A couple over here as well. Go. Bombay is held. Yeah. I want to try and hold Burma. No, there's barely anything over here except population. And we got we're okay for manpower at the moment. We're not on the highest manpower law, are we? Oh no, we are. We're okay for manpower at the moment. Wow. That's a lot of German divisions in Turkey. <laughs> I don't know why they think Turkey is so desperately important to uh to garrison. Are they going west? If they're going back up to Germany, we need to get our war declared. ASAP. If those guys all came up to Germany now, that would be a problem. So let's do it. Let's leave the faction. Here we go. Here we go. Left the axis. We're going on Sweden. There's that. And uh, yeah, change my mind. I was wrong about trying to just hold off on icing them because of course we can't leave factions while at war. Let's do that. Now we've got a whole bunch of low supply alerts. What's that about? Why is this a very low supply? Ah, oh, because I have no way of getting from my capital to here. Eee, that's not great. <clears throat> There's some supply here because of Cairo. I guess I have to push to Alexandria. Yeah, it looks like it. Okay, let's thin out these lines then. You guys, you guys, you guys, and one of you two. You need to push to Alexandria because there'll be some supply in Alexander. Alexandria, sorry. Okay, that. Vision to faction, I'm afraid not. And we begin our justification, which will take a very short time. Ten days. Barely any time. Hopefully, ah, oh, I need a... Guys up there. You two. Just to hold this border. No intention in pushing up here. There's no point pushing into non-core non land. Unless, like here, you want to... Uh, Hey, look, they're spreading out. Yes. Okay, you guys. Redeploy to the center. Now please spread out. Yes. Oh, few. Okay, good. They are now sent to be spreading out. Exile divisions. All these military police. Okay, let's have them up here. Yeah, go on, guys. Up here, please. There we go. They'll help us uh, bulldoze through France. We can't see where the divisions are. Those ones down here are probably hightailing it up here. Now that they know we're uh, justifying war on them. We will see. We will see how this goes. Let's uh, extend this front line north. So our guys know to push all along this line. I want to blitz Sweden out this war. So that I can then uh, push through Norway and down here. To Germany. These guys, we're going to just try and hold the channel. I want to be able to get my guys back from England. That's all I'm going to do, tell them to do. Okay. Oh, I forgot to uh, say, just one more of the Light Cruiser 2s, please, guys. Right. Right, here come these guys. Along. No, me, not, uh, not uh, them. Four days! Four days, and yes, they have just arrived. <laughs> oh, what the timing! We still haven't garrisoned the ports yet, and there is a German division. There are German divisions down here. Let's uh, send these two down here to uh, try and push them off our uh, continent here. Battle in the English Channel. Swedes have come in, out to uh, to face us. Let's see how our light cruisers do. Seven. What have they got? Light cruisers versus four of ours. Probably not going to do so good. There it is. There it is. And they have managed to redeploy a lot of troops over here. Oh, this could be exciting. <laughs> okay. Okay, let's do it. Or with the Axis. Go, go. Declare war. Okay. Here we go. I'm going to start activate the activate the entire plan let's see how these battles initial battles go 
I'm not surprised. There are lots of participants. Good. The initial battle is going well. That is really good news. Okay. We need to push as hard as we can in every direction. Like, across. I have to wait an hour before I can cancel this attack. Nope, two hours maybe? There we go. We need to push in every direction. That one's a tough fight to cross a river. Okay, definitely up here. Go, go. And activate. Uh, is there a different line? Oh, these guys are in a separate army. Oops. Let's assign them to this army. Give them a front line and a battle plan. Tell them to have at it. Take England for me, boys. Rescue Blighty from these evil Germans. There we go. Paris in the ports. Still just fighting the uh, Swedes in the ocean. Okay, we're pushing in. Obviously not having much success pulling into Al pushing into Alsace, since that is part of the X maginot line. And unlike Hoi 4, sorry, Hoi 3, there's no automatic events to delete the Maginot line if you push past it in this game. And normally in Germany, when playing Germany in uh, Hoi 3, it would destroy the Maginot line if you were to, if you were to attack beyond it. But uh, not in this one. And let's have the cavalry. Let's have the cavalry. Oh, I didn't need to do that. Darn it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I tend to remove my orders. Yeah, the cavalry's orders are to take charge down here to southern Spain. And it looks like looks like I accidentally abandoned some people there. Whoops. Let's promote our general to a field marshal to command the cavalry. Looks like I abandoned some of our cavalry down here. Let's see if we can get them over here in time. <laughs> Probably not. No, I think they're overrun. Let's just forget about them. <laughs> they're lost. They're lost. Oh, no, I've deleted these guys' orders. Your plan is to take back England. Go for it. Take back. Well, actually, yeah, this is take back, because we took England in the first place, didn't we? That push is not going well. Hold that. Focus on take, going into Bitburg. Push to that river as soon as we can. I want to take that river, and then we can mop up here, and we can probably take out Italy and Spain. go. Push in there with no organisation? No. How about with tiny organisation? No, I didn't think so. We'll back off that. I'm online on Steam. Oops, sorry. Just give me a second. Go offline. There we go. Okay, we're pushing into up here towards Rotterdam. That's good. Lots of factories up here. Nice. Okay, fighting more of the Swedish army. How are we doing in Sweden? Practically unopposed, it looks like. Keep pushing, guys. Never stop pushing. There we go. Oh, did they join the Axis yet? No. Oh, they're Democratic. I don't think they will join the Axis. Okay, it's going well so far. We've lost 71,000 manpower in the last month. But we're winning. We're inflicting very heavy casualties on the Germans. Are they already on high manpower laws? Yeah, they're already on service by requirement. Okay. The Luxembourg-German War. Already claimed the lives of 28,000 Germans. And, uh, 5,000 Luxembourgians. So, we're at war up here. Yeah, let's just activate that plan. Shouldn't take long. Likewise, down here. Take that province for me. Um, where else? Oh yes, over here. You no longer have a fallback line or that offensive line. Now, you have one, not you, you have one big offensive line. If I could just clean up this border a bit, push maybe to these mountains and that river, that looks good to me. Have at it. Nice. Nice. Just clear up this Gabon, Gabon, Gabon? Gabon? Not sure. And Kenya. You just take those little areas there. That'll be, uh, be nice. Okay, these guys haven't moved yet. They're Hungarian. The Hungarian division there. Push in there. Unit cannot enter province. Oh, have they not called Japan against me? They've not. Interesting. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Nor have they called their subjects. Maybe they've just not called them yet. Yeah, this area is obviously going to fall. Uh, we're, we have no illusions about that fact. <clears throat> yes, our lack of resources is quite penalising, but as we take more of France, Germany and England, we're going to get a lot more iron. I'm going to slightly reduce 
I think there were five forts. That's enough. This is kind of our ultimate fallback line. If we just have to withdraw to you know, nowhere but here, we're in dire straits. Uh, more. So, uh, should we start building some fighters? Yeah, you know what? Let's start build building some fighters. I mean, it's very late in the day to begin building fighters, but you know what? Why not? Watch in here. Maybe I should make this line more ambitious. Yeah, I'm going to make the line a lot more ambitious. Just, you know, win. <laughs> That's what that line means. But uh, I'm also going to change this up a bit. So, all of you guys, this front, you're now assigned to this new front line. Whose job it is to take France. Preferably part of Italy. There we go. This line's job is just to take out Germany. Vision of labour. Perfect. Okay, so these guys wrap up England. Pushing into the north now. Nice. Ooh, losing an attack. Sorry, a defence. Surely not. Their divisions are way worse than ours. Base attack value of 260 to our 400. We're uh, hugely better in terms of basic infantry divisions. Beginning to run into resistance here, though. tricky. It's tricky. Let's can I take you now. No, no, no. It's way too many divisions there. Let's keep these lines separate. Lots of the losing attacks, by the way, are likely to just be cavalry, so I'm not that worried about them. Okay, I'm going to take fortify port, uh, ports. Definitely not going to fall victim to some crazy, annoying uh, naval invasion. That would be Disastrous outcome. Uh, for you to in Bristol, one of you in Plymouth. Oh, you can't draw front lines on places you don't currently control. I'll adjust that one once we actually uh, own it all. Come and do that. You guys now can come down here if you'd be so kind. We're still holding naval supremacy on the English Channel. No. Enemy ships present a bunch. Ours present none. We must be repairing. Yeah, we're just repairing our light cruisers. Right, fair enough. Oof, oof. I'm stressed. <laughs> Guys, I'm down here a bit. Oh, good. Need more troops over here. Quite quite thin just there. Okay, how are we doing over over here? Has anyone been called in against us? No. They have called in here, so they might take that rubber off us, but we'll still have plenty over here in Sumatra. Unless they start doing naval invasions over here, which I, they probably won't, to be honest. Be okay. Can't take them out, irritatingly. Non-aggression pact from Greece. I'm afraid Greece that doesn't quite fit with the whole world conquest thing. Ah, oh, I have one division over here, apparently. Ooh, has the Mughal Empire been called against me? No. They just uh, got some hostile divisions. Oh, fair enough. Oh, the new Mughal Empire, sorry. Okay, we're having trouble pushing across this... Uh, river, it looks like. Let's, uh, let's change this plan a bit more. Separate it out a bit. You guys that are in blue now responsible for... Oh, no, no. Blue. You guys blue, not the military police are now going to hold the line here against the Germans. There we go. We're going to finish up this attack because I want to I want to get to the river, but then we're just going to hold this line. And since we are just holding the line, uh, I wouldn't like to do that with any uh, heavy tanks. So let's put them down here. There we go. Bulldozing through France. Very nice indeed. If we can cut them off here, that would be excellent. We get some uh, decimation done. Um, these military police, this place is going to have resistance, right? No. Excellent, because we didn't conquer it from England. There's no resistance here. Oh, but there is resistance here. Confusing. Oh, no, these are the ones I already owned. These are the ones with the potential for resistance. Yeah, and indeed, where there is a potential, there is, there is indeed resistance. Okay, okay, okay. You guys are going to be responsible for garrisoning England. While your brothers continue, in fact, let's just give the uh, give the 
garrison all of, all of England and I'll just transfer them into it as they finish occupying it. You guys, I only want you to garrison in aid of uh, suppression. Nice. Okay. Well, it's going well so far. Are we on maximum aggression? Yes, good. Good. Uh, got a couple of guys over here holding that line. In case of uh, attack there. Of course, the enemy has total air of supremacy, I have to imagine. Yep, naturally. Which is going to make these fights harder. It's making our... Uh, what's it do? Our breakthrough? Our defence. Sorry, we're not looking at the wrong side. Yeah, there you go. Our breakthrough is halved by their enemy air superiority. We don't want to push into Metz. Metz is... Imagine no line. Let's push down here. Push in here. Oh, that's a cool looking uh, icon. Is that an armoured car, I guess? Awesome. Okay, you guys don't push down there. Just push down here. Okay, you guys. Yeah, it's a good idea. Let's have a Luxembourg defence force. You can stay there. I don't like that we're neighbouring the Maginot Line and hence can't can't secure the provinces around our capital. Because if Luxembourg falls, remember, that's it. It's game over. Okay, but that's it for this time. We've made some uh, smaller advances than I would have liked. Though the war has only been raging for, what, less than a month. Yeah, we declared in November 22nd, right? So, less than a month <laughs> since this war started. But, until next time, thank you very much for watching. I haven't called in them. No wonder I can't push from there. That's a good point, actually. Don't push. You guys, new plan. New plan going to hold here. And we're never going to call these guys in. <laughs> Excellent. Okay, but until next time, thanks very much for watching, and we'll, uh, we'll see what we can do to beat the Axis. Till then, bye-bye.